Let's start by asking, what is CockroachDB? We're a distributed SQL database with a focus on online transactional processing, or OLTP, workloads. If you're not familiar, that just means real-time operations with a client touching just a few records at a time, even if lots of clients are doing this in parallel, as opposed to analytic workloads that might touch every row of a table and take hours to run. By distributed SQL, I mean neither a legacy SQL database, like MySQL, nor a NoSQL database like Cassandra, but something that offers the rich functionality of a relational database as well as the scalability and resiliency of NoSQL. Let's dig into that a bit more. What does a database need exactly to qualify as distributed SQL? First, it's got to be distributed, which is to say it has to scale and do so seamlessly. This is where legacy SQL databases really fell short. Now, that's not to say they can't scale. One can shard a Postgres database, and people do, but it's a lot of extra work, and anyone doing it has to be careful because it comes with compromises. Next up is consistency, and in this context, we mean that readers always see writes, and they see them appear in the same order in which those writes occur. This is an area where NoSQL often runs into issues. Resiliency is another area where legacy SQL databases fall short. They've added some resiliency features over the years, but it's not smooth, and it often requires some level of extra architecting and or human intervention. We bookend the foundations of distributed SQL by saying that anything worth the name has to speak SQL because it's the language of data. We need to dig in here briefly because SQL without transactions is nothing, and I mean ACID transactions. Those ACID guarantees are important, and they're hard enough to implement even on a single machine. When someone says ACID guarantees, they're talking about four promises. First, transaction has to be atomic, meaning that all parts of a transaction happen, or none. Second, they have to be consistent, which in this context means the transaction has to respect any rules imposed on the database, like foreign key constraints, and move from one consistent state to another with no inconsistent states visible to any readers at any time. Third, they have to be isolated, meaning that even though the database might be able to parallelize some operations, it can't permit it to look like they're interleaved. Finally, they have to be durable. When a transaction is committed, it stays committed, even in the face of node failure. Taken together, these form a basic set of requirements for distributed SQL. Next up, we'll talk about what CockroachDB delivers.